4.1, work done by a constant force. Uh, so what is the work? To do the work, let's say we need to apply a force and maybe the object displaced, we have a displacement, true? The, the thing is that the equation for the work is force multiplied by displacement multiplied by the angle between the force and displacement. Like this example, you apply a force to the suitcase and uh, displacement gonna be forward in X direction. But the angle between the displacement and the force is theta. Therefore, the magnitude of the force, here is the magnitude of the force, just the absolute value around. Here is the magnitude of the displacement. We got the cosine of the angle between them. The unit for the work is joule. Make sure the joule, the energy is not vector. It is a scalar. Look at this question. An emergency worker apply a force to push a patient horizontal for 2.44 meter and a gun ray with a needy, knee, uh, with nearly, nearly frictionless wheel. So we don't have friction. Determine the work done by pushing uh, if the magnitude of the force is given 15.5. Uh, we have displacement. What is the angle? So you push this way. The force is this way. Your displacement is this way. So the angle between these two vectors is zero. Knowing the equation, force is 15.5, theta is zero, cosine of zero is one, delta D displacement is 2.44. So you can find the work done too. Uh, determine the work done if the force magnitude of that apply the angle 25.3 below the horizontal. So below the horizontal means the angle between the forward that is moving and the force is 25.3. Again, you need to just put the force, magnitude of force, goes up to 25.3. The displacement the same. So you just calculate that. It's kind of different. So as you see, when the angle is zero, all of your force is going to be along the displacement. So you have a maximum work done. Compared to when the you have uh, you apply a force with some angle. So not all of this force will be converted into the work. That's why it is less than the answer is much more lower than the previous case. Now here is another example. In snow, water reaches the bottom of the hill, then glides into to uh, a stop in 16.4 meter along horizontal distance. The total mass of the board is given the coefficient of the kinetic friction between the snow bubble is given to you. Draw the FPD diagram. Determine the magnitude of the kinetic friction. So knowing that this is a stopping force, right? Since uh, there is no other force. So knowing that we have a force of the normal, we have the force of the gravitation that these two canceling. Force of normal is equal to force of gravity because in y direction is not moving. Uh, knowing the force of friction is gonna be mu k, quotient of the friction, multiplied by f of n. f of n, you can find in previous step is mg. m is 64.2 and g is 9.8 gravitational acceleration. Will be so, the F of K you can simply calculate. Calculate the work done by friction to bring the board to stop. It is moving 16.4. Since the friction here displacement is a positive direction, the angle between the force and the displacement is 180 degree. That's why when you put that in the equation, the friction force we got it from the previous step, we have to take the angle 180 degree delta D is 16.4. You get also 100 is negative one, that's why your answer would be negative. So if the force is applied to the opposite direction of displacement, it will give you negative work. 
just look at the next question. Is a store employee arises 8.72 kilogram case, 1.72 meter above the floor. Later, the customer lowered the case 1.05, and um, someone that worked on on the case. So, but employee as the case rising. So here, when you rise the case, you apply the force upward through the angle between displacement and the force will be zero. Also knowing because it's moving at constant velocity, this force you apply and the gravitational force need to cancel. These are the two forces applying is acting on the vertical. It's moving with constant velocity means your acceleration is zero, means the forces need to add up to zero. So that's why the F you apply should be equal to the force of Mg. So you know, force is Mg. Angle is zero because it's up and force is up with the force that you apply is up. Angle is zero, displacement is given 1.72. So you just calculate that this is the work. In case you're lowering that, you, you, you are still applying force upwards. So you're holding that up and lower that. But the displacement is downward. The angle between the force and displacement now is 180 degrees. So you have a equals 180, which is negative one. Again, the F and FG are gonna be equal to cancel. And the delta D now is 1.05. Yeah, they made a mistake. It's just uh, in, oh, sorry, this is, this is C I'm doing. All right, so let's just do that. Okay, still in G, 100 is negative, that would be. In the case B, you want to find the force, the, the work done by the gravity. Gravity is downward, and it's rising is upward. Angle between the force of gravity and the delta D in this case is 180. That's why you see that it's negative there, because of how 180 is negative. That's the question. Uh, you can do question four, five, six, and seven as a practice. Now, zero work. C work is equal to force multiplied by cosine of the theta. Theta is, theta is angle between the force and delta displacement. The work is zero. If, if you don't apply any force, means force is zero, the whole thing is, becomes zero, work is zero. Another case is when you apply the force, but you cannot move because maybe it's very heavy. You apply the force, but you don't have displacement. When the displacement is zero, again, the whole thing is turned to zero value, the work will be zero. Or when the force and displacement is 90 degree, cosine of the 90 degree is equal to zero. So look at this picture. You apply this, this person is apply force upward. His force is that, but it moved that forward. So displacement is forward. This, the, the angle between force and displacement is 90 degree, cosine 90 degree is zero, means the work will be, the cosine of 90 is zero, means the work will be zero. Because this person is not doing no work. Okay, looking at this question, in a performing a centripetal acceleration investigation, you twirl a rubber stopper in a horizontal circle around the head. How much work done on the stopper by tension and string and half a revolution? Since displacement is always perpendicular into the uh, tension, so if tension is there, that is your displacement, right? It doesn't matter where this rubber is, it's always perpendicular. So if a 90 degrees is zero, so it will give you a zero work. So for practice, uh, okay, it's nothing here. You can do question number five. This is page 183. 